Welcome back, my fellow craftsmen. Let's get to talking about the tools in your toolbox. This analogy comes really easy for me because I love to work with my hands in the garage, around the house, or at the cabin. I love renovating, fixing, building. The idea of being able to take care of business myself without having to hire it out has always appealed to me. But instead of talking today about the tools I use for these projects, I wanna focus on the tools we use as UX designers. Some of these tools are UI tools or prototyping tools. But other tools include research tools, techniques, or workshop techniques, discovery techniques. As some of you know, I started teaching at a UX boot camp a few months back to help me become more familiar with their curriculum so that I, in turn, could better prepare myself to teach on this podcast. One thing that I see very clearly through all this is the rightful focus on the different types of discovery and definition techniques. For example, we talk about stakeholder interviews, user interviews, qualitative analysis, surveys, usability tests, card sorts, contextual inquiry, focus groups, personas, sitemaps, user flows, and it goes on and on and on. The analogy I want you to buy into is that all these techniques and all the ones we didn't mention are tools in your UX toolbox. Each tool has its own value and use case, just like the hammer and the tape measure service their own use cases. The trick for a new UX designer is first to become familiar with all the different tools. What are they? What purpose do they serve? What value can you get out of it when done correctly? When you've got this down, then begin experimenting with the different tools. Learn how they work in practice, try them out, use the tools. From this point, you can begin to curate your own UX toolbox. Not every tool needs to be pulled out for every job. Sometimes a job can be done with only a hammer and nails. But sometimes you also need a drill and a miter saw and chisels, vice grips and glue. It's also important to recognize that your go-to tools may be different than someone else's. For example, I personally struggle to get started on any project without conducting stakeholder interviews and proper user interviews or user input. Those are my drill and tape measure. Use on almost every single project I tackle. What are yours? How comfortable do you feel with those tools? My challenge to you is to understand the tools available and then figure out your own personal UX toolbox. If you enjoyed this rant, then consider giving Design Today a subscribe. New episodes every Tuesday. Thanks for joining.